Are you moving soon? Are you starting to like freak out about the process? Everything you have to do, don't worry. And I'm gonna be sharing with you some tips and tricks to help you along the way. Number one, creating a moving kit. So this is where you keep all the things that you're gonna to go to a lot, your tape, your tape gun, your Sharpie, your permanent marker, your labels if you're labeling boxes, a scissor, tools that you're using frequently like a screwdriver. So you have them all in one place so you know where they are. This was a big help. I just kept it on our counter and every time we needed something from it, I knew exactly where it is. When you've got like a baggie of screws or you've undone the bunk beds or your bed or a shelf and you don't want to lose them and you're going, where did we put them? All the screws that we did not want to lose in this bag. Also, any paperwork, any mail, last minute mail, anything that we didn't want to lose that we were grabbing went in this bag. Another tip that I thought was handy was creating a moving binder. I went through my stuff, found a binder, a one inch binder that we weren't using. So this is principles. These are all over the internet, all over Pinterest. So I was looking for things that can help keep us on track. Change of address checklist. So you're gonna contact the post office, any loyalty card, finances, your insurance, utilities, medical, schools, online sites, driver's license, things like that. There's so many sites with so many awesome printables that you can use to keep you organized in your moving binder. But the biggest thing is to have a checklist and they already did all the thinking for me of who I need to contact because when I looked through a lot of these, I was like, oh yeah, I didn't even think of that. The work is done for you, which is awesome. So declutter your spaces. And if this is overwhelming and you have time, and if you do zone cleaning like I do, in that zone for the week, declutter there instead of being scattered all over the place so if you're in the kitchen zone then you're gonna declutter in your pantry you're going to declutter your pots your pans your glassware what don't you need what haven't you touched in a while this is what we did and we donated all that so once we were done decluttering we started packing the unnecessary things that we won't need I just wanted to have in the home things that we would use on a daily basis things that we knew we weren't gonna be using for months, like decorations. There's any furniture that you can take out of the home and put into storage, do so. You just want to have the feel of more room in your home to sell it. But whatever you're not using, anything that you can get out of the home, do so. Pack up the clothes that you don't need. Pack them up, get them out, especially if you have children. I decided to make kind of like an overnight bag. So I grabbed a duffel bag and we put in so many outfits for the kids. A pair of church clothes, shoes that I know that they would need so they had their like flip flops, their tennis shoes, and their church shoes. We just kept what they would wear from like maybe a week and I just washed those. It cuts down on laundry, cuts down on the clutter, and this seriously was a lifesaver for me. Pack up the kids' toys, keep the ones that they absolutely love, and pack up the rest. Also do this in your bathroom with your toiletries. What do you need during this process? I did this with our sheets, I kept our first aid kit, everything else went. So these bins here I grabbed at Costco and I believe six came together in a pack and they're super durable. So what I did was I went through all our toiletries, have all the women's sanitary stuff here, all dental here, all our bath needs there. So razors and things like that. So shampoos, conditioners, lotions. So I'm using these to transfer all our bathroom things to the new home. So this is coming in handy. They have snap lids and that is one way that we're moving things into the new home but not using boxes. The last thing that I did was pack up my kitchen. So I did box the unnecessary things that I knew we didn't need. Toward the end, I packed up everything except for certain pots, certain spoons. I kept my Instapot out, I kept my crock pot out, and I got rid of our nice plates, and we used paper goods. This will save you on washing. Because the last thing you want to do is dishes when you're packing up your house. <clears throat> Let's talk about boxes. It could get spendy for you if you go out to Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you can buy boxes. I was trying to add up the money and at one point it would have cost us $300 or more for boxes. So number one, you can go to the home stores and buy your boxes. Two, you can call Walmart in the morning and the stalkers will save 
a bunch of boxes for you. Just request it, they'll do it. Awesome. You can go to craft stores and ask for boxes. One of my favorite places that I found out on this move to get boxes was going to the liquor store. We went to the liquor store and behind their racks of liquor were, was this wall. Just this massive wall of all the same size boxes ready to go. They weren't huge boxes, they were perfect for books, DVDs, toys, hand towels, face towels, toiletries. Also because they already have the bottle liners in so you could put your cups in there. Oh, it was great. We used a lot of those in the move, a lot. If you go to the produce section of your grocery store, you can ask for fruit boxes or ask them to save them for you and you'll come and get them in the evening. These work perfect because they have handles already in them. They're a really good size box. And what I ended up packing in those were all my cookbooks. Don't get the banana boxes because they do have like a hole at the bottom. Go for the apple boxes, go for the orange boxes because they have a cover that goes right down and oh, they were so convenient. So, so fruit boxes are the way to go. We have a family member that works at a grocery store and he's like, I can hook you up with boxes. And man, oh man, did he. He came over with two truckloads with pallets of just boxes. They were perfect. They were used, but like used once. They were so fantastic. One tip with the packing tape is when you start taping the whole box, you go from one side over the top and down on the other side, you can flip it up and fold it together so it makes like a lip. So all you have to do is just take that and rip it off. These bags are so fun. And I fell in love with these duffel bags. It's like a tent tarp but way strong. This is the bottom of the bag. So this is like a backpack. This could go on your, on your back. So if you got something heavy, stick it on your back and then you can hold two bags, one in each hand. It's pretty cool. Let's see, heavy duty extra large storage bags with zippers, extra love moving bag totes. I'll leave a link to these on Amazon. You get five to a bag. And I bought four bags. So I have 20 of these bags. And here's all of our beach towels so they can move into the linen closet. And then I have a bag just like this in my closet full of purses and other bags. We're gonna do this as we transfer and set up. Some things are being moved by the movers and we're moving a lot of the stuff during the week and some things are in boxes but some things are in these totes. So super, super handy. All right, so there is a process to labeling. Here are the labels that I ordered off of Amazon. They came in handy when we moved last year to this home. So they're house moving labels, semi-gloss paper. They're really nice. Bedroom number three, utility room, a fragile, master bedroom, bedroom or bathroom number four. So this is bedroom number two, which is Boston. He's green. So whenever we unloaded the truck, green, Boston's room, pink, Shaley's room, blue, Jonah's room, white, Callie's room, orange, our master bedroom, and then there's garage, family room, master bathroom, kitchen, bathroom number two, this is dining room, living room, storage, bathroom number three. So you can see how like super useful these are. What you can do, which I've seen people do, like I've said, you could color coordinate the rooms. So you could make a key for you or the movers or just make piles in your garage by color. We are hiring movers this time. So the, all the boxes will be labeled. They'll know where to put them. Um, we could direct them in that regard. This is our second move and I bought more. I wanna share a hack that I learned from a family member packing your necklaces. So you put them in a towel like this and you start rolling them. And then they all stay together. They don't get tangled and wrapped in together. This worked out so good. Another little hack I have for you is utilize your slow cookers. Put your spices from your spice cabinet in there and then put the lid on, especially if you have a slow cooker like mine where it has locks on each side. Just save space and boxes, really. So if you have any tips, tricks, or hacks, please leave them down below for all of us to see.